Well, this building was built uh, as a freight depot uh, for the, I think it was the Seaboard Coast Rail Line. So for most of its life, it was the, um, just the, the train depot for the freight deliveries that came into, coming into Tavares. It stopped being the freight depot and it sat derelict for, I don't know how many years, a bunch of years, uh, until the mid 1970s when the city of Tavares was looking for a place to put their volunteer fire department. And so the, the city bought the building, I uh, have no idea what they paid for it, but it was in really bad shape. So the volunteer fire department came in, the personnel of the, vol the volunteers came in, renovated the building. It's a very nice building, just does not work as a fire station anymore. So the city of Tavares started a, a, a plan of replacing this with another building, not moving the fire department out of this building. Can't replace this building, it's, it's a precious uh, landmark. It's a historic building. We, we do have a plan now to move the fire department and the police department into a new public safe facility that's gonna be built about 10 blocks away from here. So what becomes of this building, the Historical Society, to various Historical Society, um, wants this building, they need this building. They have a building now, it's a tiny little building just a few blocks from us here but the, uh, this building has been promised to the Historical Society by the city of Tavares. Uh, so they're gonna move in here, make it into their home, and then make it into a museum, including a rail museum. So it should be, uh, that's gonna be the third part of this building's life after freight depot, after fire station, now it's a museum, it's come full circle. Going back now about five years ago, we were having serious leaking problems. We had a lot of ventilator fans that had been put on the roof over the years. It was just a regular shingle roof up there. And um, we knew that we needed to replace the roof. So we started this, this process of budgeting and, and looking for the right roof to put up there. Well, the Historical Society said, you know, can we accomplish a different goal here? There's, there were some pictures of this building from back in the 1950s and it had some type of roof on it. You couldn't tell, it was, it was not a detailed picture, but it looked like it had a barrel tile roof on this building. They found this roof that we have on here now that Eustace Roofing applied to the building. And it looks exactly like a barrel tile roof, but it's actually a metal roof and it's lightweight. Um, it's even more durable, more forgiving than a, an actual terracotta barrel tile roof much, much lighter, and uh, the useless roofing guys did a great job of putting it on. And so you're seeing videos of this, of this building now with its final new roof, um, and it just, I, I gotta tell you, it looks great. We were here through the whole process and uh, very pleased with how it turned out.